Virginia lawmakers are drawing battle lines in a budget fight that centers on tax relief. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco found out what, if anything, will emerge from budget negotiations. Over the weekend, House Republicans and Senate Democrats releasing competing spending plans with very different visions for Virginia. Unlike last year, when some overlapping efforts resulted in a $4 billion tax relief compromise, this year's Senate plan entirely rejects Governor Glenn Youngkin's latest $1 billion proposal. Here's Senate Finance Committee co-chair Janet Howell. We'll see at the end of the day, but we're quite adamant right now that these are not going to happen. On the other hand, the House plan mirrors Youngkin's efforts to cut the state's top individual income tax rate, which the majority of Virginians pay, and increase the standard deduction. House Appropriations Committee Chair Barry Knight thinks common ground can be found there. Standard deduction helps the lower income people first. We moved the needle a lot last year, but we, we could stand to you know, move it a little bit more this year. So the, uh, the standard deduction probably would be the first thing I believe we could probably compromise on. A push to slash the corporate income tax rate from 6 to 5 percent will have a harder time making the cut, predicts Senate Republican leader Tommy Norman. I just think reducing the corporate tax is going to be more challenging and there hasn't really been a ground swelling from the business and corporate community in Virginia to do that since the bills were introduced. Compared to the House plan, the Senate budget includes roughly $637 million more in additional direct aid for local public schools, according to an analysis from the Commonwealth Institute. That's the focus for Senate Finance Committee co-chair George Barker. We have already addressed a lot of the tax issues. We felt that what we needed to do now is to make sure that we are providing adequate funding or the services that Virginia need. Now both plans include an additional 2% pay raise for teachers and state employees, a boost that was left out of Governor Youngkin's budget amendments. Now come Thursday, both chambers are expected to pass their respective spending plans before these talks continue behind closed doors. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.